in today's video we are going to see the the requirements what do you need to have if you are applying for chinese government scholarship so i want to show you the tips the steps what you need to know so but before we continue please don't forget to subscribe As I, as I mentioned in today's video, I want to show you what you need to know before you apply for Chinese government scholarship. You know, in China, they have bachelor scholarships, master scholarships, PhD scholarships. There's this website, which is like a way you can find all the information about most of Chinese universities. For example, now I want to show you if you are looking for a given university. When you go to university and uh, you search, if you want to go to Beijing, like if you click on Beijing, they will show you different universities that are there. And let's say, let's take this Beijing Normal University. If you click on it, like a new window will pop up. And then as we can see on this, they will show you like uh, the, the, the category they have. They have bachelor, they have master, they have doctoral, they have non-degree and associate. And for the scholarships, so far they have a scholarship for new international students. So whenever you click on it, I'll show you the scholarships that they have. So, and then here, when you go down, you can, you can know exactly what you are looking for. For example, they say, if you want to study dance, if you want to study music, like you can study in Chinese and they put you, they show you the, the, the price. So, uh, for, for what you are looking for, for example, uh, I want to, just show you one university where exactly they have this Chinese government scholarship and see how it works. So to do it, uh, let me pick one university in Shanghai. So we'll go to the province, we check where is the Shanghai and then from Shanghai, uh, maybe uh, let's pick, um, let's, let's pick Shanghai Jiao Tong University. So in this, when you click on the university, Again, as we mentioned, like the new uh, new window will pop up. So here you can see they have application guide for Chinese government scholarship, which is the one you want to know more about today. They have also university scholarship. So they have different options. You can choose. You can choose based on your preference. You can choose what you like. And again, also, as I mentioned, when you go down, you can see they have bachelor, they have master's, doctoral, and degree. So you pick what you need based on your preference. And again, remember, there are some majors in Chinese and there are some majors in English. So you have to know exactly what you want and then you can pick. So uh, today we want to talk more about Chinese government scholarship. So after clicking on Chinese government scholarship, they will just show you the categories as uh, again you need to know that it's so far in this year like uh, there are three types of Chinese government scholarship there's type a type b and type c so the differences uh maybe i can give you a short summary but i'll post another wrong video about it the difference is that one is the you know this, the university scholarship it can be Chinese government scholarship but you get it from a university that's type b also there's type a where you can get it from the embassy so uh here what i want to show you uh for the scholarships here, they, they have, they say there's a, a bilateral program. Uh, also, they say there's a university program and the scholarship program. So here you can just go through and you read all the informations. And for me, I think in China, uh, Chinese government scholarship is just the one with uh, the best benefits because as, as a student, you don't pay anything. If you get this Chinese government scholarship, it's full scholarship, you don't pay anything. Uh, your accommodation, tuition, books, they can give you everything and uh, also they can give you insurance and then every month they will give you, like if you are in bachelor, they give you 2,500 MB. If you are in master, they will give you 3,000. If you are in PhD, they will give you 3,500. Wow. So I feel like that, that can be enough for one student. Like 
also if you have some side hustles it will be okay although it's not allowed to work in china but maybe if you have other ways of making money maybe online or something so i just want to say like if you have this scholarship it's one of the best other scholarships i feel like uh, the the benefits are not better like, than this uh, csc but again there are also some few scholarships which have more benefits than this csc so you have to do more research and then you can choose so as i mentioned here they, they show this they are showing us about the undergraduates, masters, doctoral, like how much we get and the medical insurance as I mentioned. And again for the requirements, uh, the requirements as long as you are not born in China, you're not Chinese, you can just apply. And also uh, in some time they put the, the age limit. They say, for example, yeah, they say if you are you are studying like for bachelor, it must be under 25. So if you are applying for masters, you must be under 35. And if you're applying for doctoral programs, it must be under 40. So you have to know the category. If you are 50 today, sorry, so it means that you can't come on student scholarship. So, uh, and then also, uh, if we go down, we want to know the more about the applications, like the requirements. So a uh, good thing I can tell you in China is that the, the, the requirements is always the same from one university to another. Only what you need to do is just you need to get the documents and then you submit the documents and then they, they evaluate your documents and then they can give you scholarship or not. Depends on the requirements of the school. So first, there's, there's a form. You need to fill application form on Chinese government website. So uh, this is the dashboard. Before you fill the online application form, you must feel like edit your personal information here if you go to edit your personal information you will see that there are three sections of the information you need so let me summarize it you have your personal information your education employment history and other contacts so that's what we need first after we we complete it that's when we come back and here we pick what type of scholarship do you want and i i mentioned if you are looking for scholarship from the school you must pick type b but if you get scholarship from the embassy, like in your country, if there's Chinese embassy and they're offering Chinese government scholarship, that means you apply for type A. So when you're done filling those, the form B, type B, that when you'll be able to print this. The second, you must have unauthorized copies. So if you are looking for transcript, you must make sure all those documents are unauthorized. Also, again, you must... Uh, English proficiency, they want it. Sometimes they don't. So it's just to show them that you, you like, uh, what is the, your level in English? So if you want to study in English, I, I mean, if you pick like an English majors, most of some people they ask you to afford they ask IRTS. But again, you can even show Duolingo. But again, you can even find the recommendation from the school. If you want to study in Chinese, they say before you start any major, usually you need to have Chinese HSK4. So uh, if you want to study for masters, they say HSK5. But again, if you don't have this Chinese HSK4 or HSK5, sometimes they can give you scholarship. Then the first year you will study Chinese and after passing a given level, if, then you can go ahead and start your major. Again, you need to have the recommendations. Mostly they need two recommendations. You must have <coughs> physical uh, application form. Physical application form is something that is available uh, like online. You can just go online, right? Chinese universities, physical application form document and then you will download it then you can go to any hospital like especially public hospital the doctor can sign it you must also have an criminal record and again you must have a passport before you apply for china mostly when you're applying they will ask you your passport number so you must have it before you start your application if we click on scholarships, you can see, like, I'm trying to hover, I didn't click on it. <laughs> so we, you can see, like, uh, the different scholarships they have. They have Chinese government scholarship, they have local government scholarship, they have uh, school scholarships, enterprise scholarships. There are a lot of scholarships. This is the best website that I can recommend if you are looking for scholarship in China. You got me, okay? So here, what, what I want to say, like, as I sh already showed you, the way you can search for university from different province and then each province has like a different university so you can pick depends on where you want to go if you want to go to the south you want to go to the north so you must know the province where you want to go then you can look for, for scholarship but again before we continue please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like share thank you so if we continue then now i want to go to show you exactly after after i understand the website how it works and everything so the next step you need to create an account so if you want to create an account here you can see they have different ways now my, my website is in english 
but also you can use it in Chinese and you can use it in French. So let's click on French, for example, if you feel like you're fluent in French, you don't want to use English. So when you're applying, you can just use it in French. As you can see now, it's already in French. If you feel like your Chinese is so good, you want to apply just in Chinese. Again, on top, if you see these characters, Zhongwen Pian. So it's just Chinese, so you can click on it and then also you can apply in Chinese. As I mentioned, then here after we have seen all about the university and everything, so we need to do login. How does it work? Because some people can get, they face the challenge when they try to log in. So here we just need to click on scholarship application for students. You can see now we are already, uh, we are ready to, to log in. So if you don't have an account, you just need to come here create an account and remember again if you're using chinese it may come in chinese but on top here as you can see you can just change the language you can put to english or you can use chinese so it will be easier so when you click on create an account they will ask you a few things they'll ask you username email uh, password and then you confirm your password then here after validation you get the account but since i already have the account i want to just go straight to the login so if i come here so I will just need to put my information, then uh, we can log in. So, so uh, as I did now, so I can just go straight to login and then I need to put this uh, login details. If I'm lying, then I click on sign in. So as you can see already, this is home. So when when you do sign in, you feel like when you go like after sign in, you can just see the instructions about Chinese stack like scholarship. As I mentioned, there's type A, type B, and type C. So um, as as I mentioned already here, you can also you need to know agent's number. As I mentioned, like I showed you the way you can find a university. Any university that you want, you will just want to Google and type what is the agent's number of this university for Chinese government scholarship. I will leave the prompt. What do you need to ask if you are looking for agent's number? This university, they will ask you. Uh, if you'll be applying for this Jiaotou University, as I mentioned, they'll be asking you, are looking for, like you are applying for Chinese government scholarship. You say you're applying for Chinese government scholarship. At the end, when you then you need to upload your documents, they will ask you to upload the document from the Chinese government scholarship website. So that's why you need to fill this Chinese government scholarship website before you apply for admission for university. And again, another thing I want to tell you about this Chinese government scholarship is that like when you're applying mostly for masters and a phd uh you need to know two things you need to know like you need to find your supervisor so you need to go to the website of the school and you look for the different supervisors you know, from different uh, majors then you will see the one that can be your supervisor and then you need to find one after getting the supervisor another thing you need to know like when you are applying when you you submit your documents most of the, the university they will give you pre-admission after you get the pre-admission that's when you'll be like oh now maybe they will consider me in this Chinese in the government scholarship and again some of the universities you need to go for different steps some university they will not ask you an interview some will ask you an interview or some will even give you a small test you know so you need to know all of this you need to, like, to follow up with the school so guys um let me know in the comment if you have any question right to the application scholarships life in china let, let me know let me know in the comment section so guys thank you and have a good time